What's up, Boost Junkies? Eddie Rocksteady with Comp Turbo Technology here. And in this video, we're talking about maintaining our oilless line of turbochargers. You may be curious as to how exactly they work and how to maintain them. You may have heard they're grease lubricated. And in this video, we aim to answer some of your questions, your commonly asked questions, and shed a little insight about servicing and maintaining our oilless turbochargers. We have an oilless water cooled and an oilless air cooled in our arsenal. They do differ slightly in application and use case. However, maintaining them is the same. Stick around, check it out. Now, when it comes to the oilless line of turbochargers, we do once again have a model that is water cooled and a model that is air cooled. Now, we do have individual videos for each of them explaining the main differences between them and why you would want to use one over the other. Some of the use cases that one is better for than the other. Maintaining them is, however, the same. You'll notice that the turbochargers can be identified by the billet aluminum center cartridge that has a Zerk fitting at the top of the cartridge. Now, that Zerk fitting is for, you guessed it, maintaining it with grease because these are, in fact, grease lubricated. Now, when it comes to a journal bearing turbocharger, you do obviously have a journal and a collar and all of those components need to be separated by a film of oil pressure. And you require quite a bit of it to successfully maintain a good positive mechanical efficiency. When it comes to a ball bearing combination, ball bearings can actually make do with very minimal lubrication. A small douse of oil, quick in and out, is really all they need. We took advantage of this concept and decided to create our grease lubricated turbocharger. Thus, the oilless turbo was born. Now, our turbochargers do use a proprietary grease. You can't unfortunately go out and just use an off the shelf wheel bearing grease. They do use a proprietary grease. Our grease is a non channeling grease that won't eventually gunk up or foul out your turbocharger. In fact, it dissipates quite cleanly. It's fluid enough to allow for the same mechanical efficiency as a conventional oil lubricated turbo, but still strong enough to be able to well, withstand the harsh conditions under which they live in. Now, when it comes to this particular grease, we do sell it online and over the phone, but this grease is also available through our dealers as well. Now, like I mentioned, our cartridges do have a Zerk fitting at the top of them. And again, because you no longer have to abide by the rules of gravity, the turbocharger no longer cares how it's oriented. It can be mounted completely vertically or horizontally. Ideally, you'd like to mount them whatever way is easiest for you to be able to access that Zerk fitting. That Zerk fitting will in fact be where you want to service your turbocharger from. And it works very similarly to anything else that uses grease. You can take your favorite grease gun, attach it to the Zerk fitting and apply as needed. Now, the specific maintenance does vary a little bit from application to application and use case to use case. Now, generally speaking, for the general public, our spirited street cars and our weekend warriors, you're going to want to top off the turbocharger every 3,000 miles or every time you perform an oil change. As long as you have easy access to the cartridge and the Zerk fitting, you should be able to do so whilst performing an oil change as well. Now, when it comes to our more race applications, that's where it's going to become a little more circumstantial. At the very least, you're going to want to make sure that it is in fact greased up prior and after your event. That'll ensure that your turbocharger is topped off and ready to go for the next round as well. Now, keep in mind, these turbochargers do come pre-greased. They're ready for use immediately out of the box. Presumably, after you mount the turbocharger, you're gonna be headed on over to the dyno to be able to dial everything in. Usually, the turbocharger goes through a bit of a break-in process through your tuning session. It'll heat cycle a little bit as the grease can sometimes dry up a little bit in packaging and transport, and it might feel a little difficult to turn. Once that grease heats up, it's back to its 99% mechanical efficiency. Your dyno session will, however, be usually in a stale environment and the turbocharger can get a little hot. We recommend regreasing your turbocharger immediately after your dyno session. From there, you can stick to your recommended cycling schedule of maintenance. Once you purchase a turbocharger and you let us know what kind of use your vehicle is going to see, we'll tell you exactly what you need to do to service it. But again, Typically every 3,000 miles or anytime you do an oil change, re-grease the turbocharger. Now, the actual maintaining procedure. As you know, they're grease lubricated. That means you can use your favorite grease gun if you already happen to have one or if you're partial to one in particular. 
but it doesn't have to be any special kind of grease gun in particular. If you don't have one or you'd like to keep a spare one, maybe you can keep it in your vehicle so you know you always have it when you need it. We do happen to provide a grease gun for you should you need it. We do sell our refill cartridges by themselves. They come in three ounce tubes or you can purchase a kit where we provide you with the small stainless steel grease gun and one refill cartridge as well. The process for maintaining the turbocharger is pretty straightforward. You're going to want to insert the cartridge into the grease gun and you're going to want to prime the grease gun as well. You're going to want to click it over until you see grease coming out of the end of the tube so that you know that the line is filled, pressurized and ready to rock and roll and you don't have any dry pumps going into the turbocharger. Once you've established that the line does in fact have grease in it, you can go ahead and click it into the Zerk fitting of the turbocharger and at that point begin the seven to eight pumps of grease. Now you may be wondering. Am I doing seven to eight pumps of grease every single time? What if there's already some within the cartridge? How do I know? Well, you're gonna to wanna to do seven to eight pumps of grease every single time. And this will ensure that the cartridge is filled to capacity every single time. Should you have a little in the cartridge already? Not a problem. There's no harm in over greasing the turbocharger, only under greasing the turbocharger. So in over greasing the turbocharger, what happens? Maybe a little bit of that grease will get pushed past the carrier and into the turbine side where it's going to evaporate into a thin wisp. No harm, no foul. Again, ensuring that it is greased is more important and you don't want to have it under greased. So just to recap, our oilless line of turbochargers is in fact grease lubricated. Now that grease is proprietary and the specific procedure might vary from application to application and use case to use case. We'll let you know exactly what we recommend for your application upon ordering. Generally speaking, you're going to want to service it every 3,000 miles or every time you perform an oil change. You can orient the turbocharger any way you like and we recommend a form that's easy to access the Zerk fitting from. Now we do recommend that you pump 7 to 8 pumps of grease into it every single time. There is no harm in over greasing your turbocharger, only under greasing the turbocharger. We do sell the grease and grease guns online over the phone or my way of our many dealers. And if you have any questions, you can reach out at any time. We'll let you know exactly what you need, what we recommend, and how to maintain your turbocharger exactly. If you have any further questions about the oilless line of turbochargers, you want to learn a little more, or you're curious as to what we recommend for your application, we'll be happy to size you up and set you up with exactly what you need. Give us a call or send us an email. We'll be happy to take care of you. My name's Eddie Rocksteady. You can ask for me by name. I'll take care of you.